And hi everybody, this is Rich Rosti, and this is the Silver Fox blog, and thanks for stopping by. I always had enjoy when folks stop by and listen to what I have to say about the storm and about the game coming up. Well, folks, the season, regular season, is over, and now it's a new season. It's a new start. Uh, the Sioux Falls Storm taking on the Omaha Beef in the first round of the playoffs, and and uh, you know what I think back when I was in college, you know, went through the curriculum, all of the different things that I had to do as far as figuring out what classes to take. There was always one class in there you just didn't want to take, just wanted to put that off. Well, this is kind of the same way for the Sioux Falls Storm. If there's one team that would be the one you don't want to face in the first round, it's Omaha because they are a very good football team. But like Coach Riggs talked about in his show last Tuesday, he said, now is the time to play them. He says, you know, the team is as healthy as it's been for a long time. Guys have returned. You know, they've got things in order. Everything is the best it could be, rather than if the storm went somewhere and maybe had some injuries and have to play them on, you know, on a limping leg, so to speak. So the coaches, Coach Riggs is talking about this is the best time to play Omaha. You know, they're coming into the Sioux Falls Arena. They're going to be very confident. You know, they won up here. Uh, the last time the Storm played them, it was overtime before the Storm was able to defeat them. So it's, you know, they're going to come in with an awful lot of confidence. But the thing is, I think right now, after the win last week against Sioux City, a lot of things, you know, kind of got ironed out. And the guys are having a great time playing again. And I think that springboard into this playoff game is going to be more beneficial than we all realize. And I think the Storm going into this game is going to be very confident themselves. I think they have, uh, you know, they, they have gotten, and, you know, with all of the controversy this year as far as injuries and things like that, I shouldn't say controversy, but with all of the struggles they had as far as the uh, injuries they had this year, and now everybody's coming together. And that's the perfect time. This is the perfect time for everything to come together as far as the guys getting healthy, you know, getting the whole core together, getting, you know, a game like last week to get everybody on the same page. It's working out the very best for the Sioux Falls Storm this week. The one thing Coach asked of the fans was to bring noisemakers. Uh, hopefully they'll have some for sale. You know, he and uh, Todd Tryon had talked about bringing in noisemakers. Hopefully they get that done because we want it to be very loud. Because one of the things about Omaha that is the key to their offense is to – have a quarterback that gets comfortable. Ben Sankey is an excellent quarterback. In fact, uh, he was named the Offensive Player of the Year in the league, and he is uh, very talented. And the thing about him that makes him good is when he's comfortable, his passing and everything else is just right on the money. However, if anything that the Storm fans and the Storm players can do to disrupt his comfort level, that's going to make it tougher for him to complete the passes. So coach says, come on, get the big crowd, make a lot of noise when uh, Omaha has the football, and try to get something so that Ben Sankey does not have the comfort zone that he has enjoyed in other ballgames. That's one of the big keys of this entire ballgame is the uh, disruption of Omaha's quarterback, their offensive line, all of those different things, the receivers, you know, all goes into one packet. If Ben Sankey, the quarterback, is is uh, uncomfortable, the rest of the offense can suffer too. And Omaha will give up some points. And the Sioux Falls Storm right now offensively are playing exceptionally well. Their offensive line has been outstanding. Storm defensive line. The Storm has been playing very well all the way across the board. But I think there are, you know, some areas that are just – uh, even better than others. And I think that, uh, you know, this is the perfect time to be in the playoffs for the Sioux Falls Storm. You know, what's going to happen down the road, the next game, the next game, the next game? That doesn't matter. Right now, the Sioux Falls Storm is looking at Omaha, beating them at the Sioux Falls Arena this coming Saturday. And I just hope to see you there. I hope to see a fantastic crowd like we've had in the past. And everybody comes out and makes a whole lot of noise uh, for the Sioux Falls Storm. But anyway, thanks for stopping by. This has been the Silver Fox Blog, brought to you by the Eastway Bowl on East 10th Street in Sioux Falls. Thanks for stopping by. I'll be here again next week and tell you about what's going on with the Sioux Falls storm. We'll see you.
Goodbye. Thank you.